Hey, John here with Scott. Just wanted to do a quick vid to show you guys how you can upgrade your older Soundbox 2 or even Soundbox 1 speakers to SCA wireless so they can join your Soundbox 3 speakers to form a huge wireless audio network. So what you're seeing here is my source setup. So I've got my baby DJ deck here, uh, my Roland connected to my Mac uh, via USB and Serato running on there. And then I've got uh, a Danny Scott Pro transmitter connected to the deck with uh, one of the cables I got from Scott store. That's my source setup, completely battery operated. Danny's of course uh, got its own battery and the Roland is powered from USB power. All right, let's check out our speakers. So what we've got over here is a pair of Gen 3 Soundbox speakers. One set up as left and one set up as right, forming a stereo pair. And they're getting their audio from the Danny by Ska. They're both in join mode. What have we got here? This is a Soundbox 2, also connected to the Danny wirelessly. It has a, um, it has something feeding its audio input. Look at that. That is a Wet Sounds A-Link Plus Velcroed to the back of the speaker. Uh, nice and high so the antenna sticks up over top of the speaker, clearing the grill and all of the metal parts. And that is an ultra long range receiver. And uh, just like that, our Soundbox 2 joins the Soundbox 3s in a SCA network. Now I should mention as well that the Wet Sounds A-Link Plus is battery operated also. So everything here, the speaker side, all the transmitters, all the receivers are battery operated. Nothing's plugged in. Now with the uh, Danny transmitter being an ultra long range transmitter and the Wet Sounds A-Link Plus being an ultra long range receiver, you're gonna get at least 50 meters range indoors between the two of them. And that's 150 feet, so you could feel free to put that uh, Soundbox 2 with the uh, with the A-Link Plus attached to it right at the back of the hall. Fill up the place with great audio. Now that I've figured out how to turn on my drum pads, I'll do a little finger drumming. And you see everything's happening in real time. This isn't like Bluetooth audio where uh, there's so much latency it makes the system unusable. Scott's built from the ground up for pro applications just like this. So now I'm going to reach over and turn off the uh, Danny Scott Pro transmitter and grab my iPad. All three speakers are going to swing over to the iPad and we'll show you how all this works using a tablet for being DJ. All three speakers are connected and everything is still real time. So I can scratch, I can uh, hit cue points. I'm gonna go over to the Scott Command app and show you how everything's bonded. You see the three speakers are bonded to, um, to this iPad. And uh, this, this is a free app available on scott.com slash TLC. And you see how I can control them individually. I can mute them and unmute them individually. The um, Soundbox 2 is, uh, is the uppermost one there. 
So that's we're just listening to it right now. This app is super useful because it lets me set up each speaker as left, right, stereo, or mono. You can see the uh, Soundbox 2 is mono, and the uh, the Gen 3 Soundboxes are left and right uh, individually. I can also control them all as a group using that bottom fader. Let's go back to the DJ app. So I've set up a cue point, and I can uh, I can do something like this. In perfect time. And again, this is thanks to the real-time nature of ska that's uh, it's allowing me to do that in time. We've seen how easy it is to upgrade a Soundbox 2 or even a Soundbox 1 speaker to be SCA wireless using a Wet Sounds A-Link Plus. The cable to connect the two of them is even included with the A-Link Plus. Here's the box that the A-Link Plus comes in. What might surprise you is that in the box there's actually two of these units. So I can take this one and upgrade another sound box. Or I can add my subwoofer to the SCA network. The A-Link Plus 2-pack, as well as pretty much any SCA accessory you'll ever need, are available on skastore.com. Thanks for watching.